what's up humans and freaks a little uh, red pill rant just truth rant but I like to say red pill red pill rant all right so to all you dads all you dads out there you have to remember and you have to accept reality for what it is all right now I'm talking to dads who have younger uh, girls you know daughters right you dads who have teenage daughters let me let me remind you of what the reality is because I know it's hard for you to accept and it's hard for you to even think that this is true or even imagine that this could be true because you're thinking of your teenage daughter as like a little angel a little princess and I get it I get it I get it <laughs> but dads you have to who have teenage daughters you have to remember when you were a teenager bro come on let's not be stupid let's not be naive let's not be dumb let's not purposely put the blinders on and not look at reality okay mr. dad when you were a teenager what were you trying to do with other teenage girls come on now Come on now, what were you trying to do with other teenage girls, Mr. Dad? That's right, you were trying to get in their pants, weren't you? Yes, you were, Mr. T Mr. Uh, Dad. <laughs> so, do you think times have magically gotten better? Ha has, has America and the world, has it gotten more promiscuous and degenerate or less? Answer that. Of course, it's a no-brainer. It's gotten more promiscuous and degenerate and so on and so forth. But this has been going on for many decades, so I'll just tell myself. Again, I'm going to take you back to the 90s. I knew of girls 12 years old. 12, 13 years old. Uh, man, when I really think about it, there were even some in... Probably 11 because fifth grade I was a little old for my grade I was like a year old for my grade so I was 11 in fifth grade so yeah I would even 11 I knew of girls 11 bro 11 12 13 already being sexually active back in the 90s so what what's the point of this video the point of this video is this I'm not a dad I don't have a teenage daughter but I'm 40 and I'm looking around at other dads in their 40s with teenage daughters and they're thinking <laughs> they're just they're, well they're not thinking they're thinking like oh my little angel my little princess my little this my little that and yeah yeah I get it she's your daughter but bro bro she is not some innocent little victim of boys hitting on her and oh she just she can't she can't handle the attention she doesn't know what to do and so she's she she just she doesn't know how to handle herself no 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 that's not what's happening what's happening is this this is what you really can't handle your teenage daughter is seeking the boys out she's chasing them She's chasing them, Mr. Dad. Your teenage daughter is chasing them. They're not chasing... Yeah, of course, some, some guys in, uh, in her school or whatever are chasing her down. Of course, of course. But what you can't understand is she is the initiator. That's where dads really can't handle the truth. Is your daughter is the initiator. She's chasing them down and pulling them into bed, Mr. Dad. Your teenage daughter is chasing men down and pulling them into bed with her that's the truth you cannot accept that's what it is so i'll take you back again to this was 20 uh let's see 2010 2010 i dated this young woman very very briefly she was 18 uh, dated for a couple months. Um, 18, I was, what was I? I was 28. Yeah, 18, I was 28. 
at the time. And she said, Brandon, I have friends that they already have like 12, have already had like 12 sexual partners. I was like, yeah, I believe you. And these were, again, uh, girls raised in church, girls uh, going to church every Sunday, you know, Christian parents. Well, the parents probably, you know, were Christian maybe, but just because your parents are Christian doesn't mean you're a Christian as a kid. So a lot of the, even these Christian parents, they have teenage daughters who they think, oh, she goes to church every Sunday with us. Oh, she's just a teenager. Oh, dude, it doesn't matter. They're chasing men down because they know what they want. They're chasing men down. So back back to 2010, this girl was like, that I was seeing, she goes, yeah, I got friends, 18, you know, back in 2010, 18-year-old girls, well, they're not even girls, they're women, they're young women, 18 young women, yeah, they already have like 12 sexual partners, Brandon, or more, I'm like, yeah, I believe you, I'm not dumb, I believe you, so this is back in 2010, again, I'm going to ask you, has the world gotten crazier? or more conservative, crazier. So, dads out there, all you dads out there, you have teenage daughters. Yes, they might be the exception and they might be still pure and might be, you know, conservative and not, you know, let's just call it what it is. They may not be hoeing around, but we live in, in a slut culture. Sluts are... Sluts are embraced and promoted in, in America. In America 2024, it's cool to be a slut. If you're a young uh, woman and you're a slut and you're a hoe and you're all those things, you're celebrated. Look at look at look at their idols. Look who they look up to, Cardi B and all the all the celebrities. Bro, slut culture, porn culture, that that is celebrated. Because we're living in the times where um, Good is called evil and evil is called good, as the Bible talks about. These are the last days. These are the last years of humanity, guys. So anything that is that was once shamed is now celebrated. So you're a porn star. Hey, you're celebrated. You know, you go, girl. You go, boss, babe. You go. You go. You go. You got 100 bodies, 200 bodies. Bro, there, <laughs> there's girls that are 24, 23 right out of college fit easily 50 bodies 50 plus body count guys this is normal yeah, I'm, this is normal in 2024 America this is normal so I don't know what land what world you guys are living in you guys are living in Delulu you're Delulu delusional Delulu you're in delusional world you dads that have teenage daughters and if they go to public school Forget it. I mean, <laughs> forget about it. Forget about it. They're being indoctrinated 24-7. They got public school. They got Hollywood. They got just the world that they live in. They're caught con- social media. Your teenage daughter is constantly being uh, bombarded with be a hoe, be a slut, be a, be a Cardi B, be a whoever. I don't know. Is Cardi B even the girl? I don't know. I'm obviously... I'm not cool anymore. I'm not hip. I don't know who, who's 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 <laughs> who's the it girl now. Whoever, but you get my point. You get my point. So in my day, it would be, uh, you know, like when I was growing up, you know, Madonna and, and uh, uh, who else? Um, you know, Britney Spears and, and all them. You know, guys, this is this is like, come on, man, come on, bro. And again, what you really can't handle is I'm, I'm talking to you Christian parents as well. You Christian parents that have teenage daughters that go to public schools. Don't be stupid. Don't be naive. All those girls that they're around 24-7 that are not Christian and not in the church, they're constantly pulling your teenage daughter, dragging them. Come on. Come on. Come out with us. Just be a hoe with us. Be a hoe like us. Come on. Come on. I'm going to end on this note. Back to my gym years, age 16 to 20. On a regular basis, I would see teenage girls. Again, girls. They're not really girls. Young young women chase down men in their 30s, 40s on a regular basis. My, my friend AJ, he was 40 years old, handsome, buff dude. On the regular, was pulling 18, 17, 19. See? See, you can't handle that. It's true, though. 